Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday today, which means there are 40, 50, two hours before we leave this place. I cannot. On today's agenda, I am going to be working outside, trying to get as much done as I can. There's a lot of stuff to do. That's it's overwhelming. And last night I got little bits and pieces put together in my suitcase and this, that, and the other, which I will be going over with you. Also, thank you for the suggestions. I cannot wait to show you Denmark. I, I can't. I can't. And I'm I'm going to try to share facts about Denmark so you know like the size of it, how many people live there, this, that, and the other. Denmark is made up all of islands except one spot that kind of looks like a witch <laughs> with a witch's hat. I just got back from Lowe's, bought the last of the plants for outside, but I did want to give you a couple of tips on how to plan a European vacation because it can be a little... There are a lot of things that you need to take into consideration, let's put it that way. The first thing you want to check is the website travel.state.gov. It is a government-run website that has all of the information about any country you would ever, ever want to visit. It has travel restrictions, like the levels of terror. It has the sea restrictions. It has visas if they're necessary. It has how long you can stay in the country uh, until you would need a visa. All of the information you would ever need. So I continued to check what the Danish travel restrictions are, especially with the sea, because those are always changing. And that has changed now to you just need a booster. And you don't, you still need a check, a C check before you get into the United States as far as I know. But other than that, all of the other restrictions have been lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Our last part of the trip, we're gonna end in Copenhagen and I have been searching for testing sites. You can do private testing sites and the tests are insanely expensive. They are very expensive or you can go to kind of like an urgent care type place and they will test you a rapid test and then you can take that test to the airport when you check in but if you test positive you'll have to stay until you're negative which really wouldn't be so bad <laughs> My final tips for today, if you rent a car, make sure that you have coverage. If you don't, you need to make sure that you buy an extra policy through the car rental insurance company, which we did, and it covers us in Denmark. It also not only covers the car, but covers injuries if, that were, if they were to occur. Also make sure you have travel insurance. We bought a year long policy that will cover us anywhere from where we live up to 500 miles away. So if we were to go to Seattle, we would be covered if the trip were purchased during the time that your insurance policy was active. I hope that makes sense. I'm outside working. I wanted to show you a magnolia bloom. This is my first magnolia tree. It is kind of a trash tree because it leaves a lot of leaves and pods on the ground. But look at the size of the blooms. I am shocked. Let me pull this down really quickly and look at this. It's bigger than my hand and it smells divine. It's just so beautiful. This is the other side of the magnolia tree. And these little pods can be very dangerous. If you step on one, but I'll take the beauty and then clean up the mess. I was just getting ready and I wanted to mention that Tula has their Radiance Routine Kit on sale and it has some of my all-time favorite Tula products in it. Check this out. The first thing in the kit is this ginormous tube of facial wash. It is full of probiotics and superfoods. It is super gentle 
for cleansing your face. This is one of my favorite products. The second are these brightening drops. This is vitamin C. Vitamin C is so good for your skin. I use this all the time. Comes in a little dropper and I put it on my face, my neck, and my chest. It is great for you. The third product is Rose Glow and Get It. It is a brightening and cooling eye balm. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, which is perfect. You know I'm into shimmer. I love shimmer. This is perfect for right under your eyes. And the fourth is Protect and Glow. This is my number one favorite Tula product. It has 30 SPF in it, and it leaves this slight shimmer on your skin, and I absolutely love it. I put this on every single day. This is my fourth tube. This should tell, <laughs> this should tell you how much I love it. All of these products come in this nice travel bag which is gonna be perfect for my suitcase. It usually costs $154, but it's $92. And if you use my code BLENDEDNEST, you can save an additional 15%, which brings it down to $78 for four products and this super cute little travel bag. Mm -hmm.